everybody, this is Patrick DZ Source, and today we're going to be going over a little bit of a discussion video for the new ban that's coming out in uh, Mar or April, excuse me, it's the end of March. So let's go ahead and get started with what we think should come back, and next we're going to hit up uh, what we're going to think gets hit. Now, I don't have anything in front of me to kind of tell me what it is, but, uh, you know, I'm just going to kind of go off what I think, um, and you guys can comment down in the comment section below whether you agree with me, disagree with me, what you think is uh, going to be different, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Chaos, Emperor, Dragon, Envoy, the end. They basically changes the effect to where it's not as good as it used to be. So I feel like this card uh, could legitimately come back to one. And uh, if it came reprinted in the uh, premium gold coming out, that would be pretty awesome. So let's continue on. Elemental Hero Stratos. Man, th I feel like if they brought him back at any time, this has got to be the ban list. Because... I mean, there's no reason to have him forbidden. He He's just... he. I don't know, man. I think Konami's just trying to troll us with this one, but I feel that this has got to be the ban list. This has got to be the ban list that he comes back. So, yeah, that's that That needs to happen. Um, Shockmaster, I, I would want this card to come back so bad um, for the new Stellar Knight, uh, Star, Star Seraph and Stellar Knight support. Uh, you know, that would be a really good good thing for the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, especially with Necros being a thing, you know, something needs to shut that deck down at least a little bit, and Shockmaster is just the guy to do it. So, I think that this card should definitely, definitely come back into the game. Um, cards that should come back that are spell cards. Heavy Storm. Oh, yes. Heavy Storm should definitely come back. This game is getting worse and worse by the second, and Heavy Storm would definitely help the situation out because um, you're it's gonna be like a trap format next next format so it's almost guaranteed that that there's just gonna be a full back row and your opponent's just gonna have monsters up the wazoo so heavy storm i think needs to come back for the next format um pot of avarice i say this every time uh pot of avarice is a great card i feel that this could come back at any moment um, not like Spellbook of Judgment. That will never come back. That doesn't need to ever come back. Um, Crush Card Virus, um, actually is leaning more towards coming back, um, based on the fact that they reprinted in Premium Gold. It's not as good as it used to be, but it definitely is a, a nice card for card decks like Burning Abyss and such, so, um, it's definitely a, a good card to play, in my opinion. Um, Ring of Destruction, that'd be pretty cool if that came back. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Solemn Judgment. Now, I, I said this, I think, in the last one. This this right here, especially with the Necros being a thing and how fast the game's becoming, we need a card like this in the game. We need it. it, it Solemn Judgment is just a super big deal. And I know paying your half your life points in the game uh, is not a hefty price anymore based on the fact that um, a lot of decks in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! play with their life points a lot. Stuff like Heroes, you know, stuff like... Oh, what was the other one, man? Uh, Cliff Horts, you know, they play with their life points, and, you know, that's fine and all, but Solemn Judgment is, like, needed um, in this game right now. It's just, it, it needs to happen, and I feel. Um, Trap Dust Shoot, I was thinking, I, I had a conversation with my friend about this card coming back, and, you know, it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, because Trap Dust Shoot, um, you know, with things like Necros and Cliff Horts and stuff, stuff searching out constantly, this card, I feel, needs to come back um, not specifically for those decks, but um, just to counteract decks like that, there's a lot of searching decks going on, and I feel like this card would be um, a great side deck card or a great main deck card simply because uh, putting stuff back in your opponent's deck and seeing their hand is really, really good in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm just going to leave that there. Um, let's go ahead and keep going. We have uh, Inferno Archfiend. You're staying at one. Uh, Darkness Metal Dragon would be cool back at two. Uh, I feel like uh, Six Samurai Shien. This would be a pretty cool card to go back to uh, two, along with I did forget uh, Gateway of the Six. If these cards came back, uh, this card especially, uh, if it came back to one or two, uh, I could see Six Samurai getting a little bit more play. Not a whole lot. I know it's like a scumbag deck, but um, with the game of Yu-Gi-Oh right now and uh, the Knack Rose and all these spell cards and stuff being used to spell some monsters. I wouldn't be surprised if Konami came came around and said, yo, dog, we need these. We need this in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. The game's just too fast, too furious, too broken. Um, and they need it, so. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Um, let's see what else we have. I've said this the last ban list as well. Bottomless trap hole. This card has to come to two soon. This card it would help the game so much as well as any. You know, um, OCG has it at two, but um, I'm usually the case goes that OCG follows in the rules or TCG follows in the rules of OCG, um, like very suits. So um, I feel like this card should come back to 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 do. Um, it would be really, really big plus for the TCG and stop a little bit. Um, not completely stop, but a little bit more stop the uh, the decks that are getting getting better and better at, uh, as we go along here. Um, something else I really wanted to talk about. I mean, there's nothing else um, that should come back or, you know, all that stuff. Um Cards that I think should get banned, limited, or semi-limited. Um, Vanity's Emptiness, I feel like that card should get semi-limited. Um, it's definitely a great card, and I know it has the drawback of when a card is sent to your graveyard from the field or the deck, it, it is destroyed. But you got to understand that that card, your opponent goes off and you get Vanity's with a Dark Law or something on the field. You know, you have an extremely difficult time coming back unless you have an MST to start. And then, you know, some way to get around Dark Law. You know, it's very, very difficult to get around that card. And I, I feel that it would come back to... Um, and I said earlier that uh, the TCG follows suit in the OCG. I feel like the Necros are going to get hit pretty hard, you know, with the Manju and Senju going down to one. Uh, preparation of Rites going down to one. You know, Unicorn, Trishula, Brionic. Brionic would probably be the greatest hit to the deck um, if it went down to one. Based on the simple fact that Brionic is the main searcher of uh, the Ritual spell cards. And uh, if he went down to one, the Exit Beetle strategy would go along with it. And, you know, that's not very cool uh, for the deck. The deck is still very, very playable. The OCG has been doing a lot with it. But I feel that uh, that card going down to one would be a big disappointment to Necros players. And they'd have to figure out a way to get around it somehow. I know I would. I, I actually do have the Necros deck myself. And I uh, I would definitely, definitely have to find a way around that. Uh, so, yeah. But, um... Also, anything else you guys want to mention in the comments below that you think should go down to 1, 2, or 0, let me know in the comment section below. Give this video a like if you liked it, and subscribe for more videos here at TCG Source. And uh, I want to thank you guys again so much for watching, and you all stay lucky. <laughs>